I won't make you calm down. Watch this video because this video will impact in your life. Yes. When Dr. Ebe Damina come out, they preach against all these our pastors, all these our prophets, when they come out, they deceive people in the name of tithe. Church. People they criticize us. Yes. He come out, come they explain, say him they kick against all these things. What pastors they preach people? Most people say you must pay tithe. If not, you don't go see heaven. People criticize us. Some talk say him they jealous. Some say that because he no get congregation. Some say that because of saying no make money, say poverty don't affect him brain. But this time around, I won't make you watch this video now. Dr. Charles Akpoki, alias area grandfather, don't come and talk the same thing about tithes. I won't make you cool down, watch this video very well, hear what thing Dr. Charles Akpoki talk. Because for this video, he come and come talk, say, he go one church. He come go see one pastor, they preach. Say that because of Adam, no pay tithe. Now he made God come out and forget of idiot. Yes! He say when he hear that word, he heard scatter. He say he heard scatter, he have to first go group it. Go draw the pastor. Say, where Jesus, where Bible tell us, say, now because Adam no pay tithe. What did Adam they want? What make Adam? When they say make Adam pay tithe, he no pay. Now God come out and forget of idiot. He say the way where our pastors, they use money, carry money for head, they don't do much. He say right now, don't talk about it. Anything will happen. Make it happen. In fact, this Dr. Charles Akoki, alias area grandfather, I beg, watch this video. This man will make sense for all his videos. I won't make you calm down and watch this video. He even talk say one young pastor again, come for group it. They preach. Say, make you give, make you provoke God. Bring 200 times, bring 300 times. Now I need to provoke again. Climb for group it. Drag and down. I won't make you watch this video. Anywhere you did, watch this video. Tell me what you understand for watching this area grandfather, Dr. Charles Akoki. The talk. I beg, watch my video. I saw something online. I don't know if it was artificial intelligence that generated it. I couldn't believe my ears. I heard somebody say that it was tight that Adam ate that made God drive him out of the Garden of Eden. If we don't correct some of these things, the church will be seen as a bundle of charlatans or extortionists just trying to make money from people. Who, what work was Adam doing? Who was he supposed to pay the tithes to, to God? What, what, what will he have used to pay the tithes? Did God, did we read anywhere in the Bible where God told him that he should pay the tenth? Adam had everything in sufficiency. So if he paid his tithe for what? Imagine the landlord of the whole world at that time, or take care of the whole world, with all the animals and everything that is disposal. What was he paying his tithe for? Adam was driven out of the garden because of disobedience and so that he will not eat the tree of life and live forever in a simple situation. So if it was tight, Jesus didn't need to come and die. One of the things I realized is that a lot of these are so-called gods in general. They had themselves preached into a box, very mighty projects, grandiosity, competition and so uh, conspicuous consumption and the hedonic treadmill so they always need money to execute projects execute things and so to get this money everything must be done to preach money out of the pockets of the people and when i talk about the way the church is going beneficiaries of this nonsense and of the rough will come and attack me. That is because I'm not pastoring the church. It is sad. I saw one video in an Anglican church. A young man went there, was preaching, and he gave, and he gave. I want you to run here now, bring 200,000 and drop it here. And the vicar came out and drove him out of the church. Drove him out of the pulpit. That's the way Pentecostalism 
and ministry has degenerated. Everything, money, money, money. We don't understand. God has to help us. God has to help us. And we need a fresh set of men of influence in this dispensation. That's why I'm doing this.